Well, I've just come back from my uh, weekend away. Fantastic. Period wedding. 17th century period wedding. Didn't we look fantastic? The band were brilliant. The Kaylee was fantastic. And I've returned to a tip from somebody to say, I'm already getting this from Warsaw. They're quite right, so I need to save my money. And they only give benefits to the overall nation. They don't give benefits to each individual area, these admiralties. So I don't want one in more than one place. Wow, what a great place. What a fantastic time. I wish you could have all been there. I really do. Um... Anyway, uh, let's get these rakes doing something, the ones that are down in this area here. I just want them scouting really to find out what's happening. I was going to go for the dock yards, but I've changed my mind and you'll find out why in a minute. Um, yeah, when the band stopped playing, we carried on singing. It was fantastic. We raised the roof. It's a 17th century old um, Tudor building. It was beautiful. Where's my other rake? I thought I had another one there. Oh, where he's gone. I could have Oh, there he is. They're hard to see these, aren't they? Camouflaged rakes, aren't they? Um. Yeah, I really want to just go and have a look, see what he's got up here. Okay, speed that up a little. Right, uh-huh. A small army, or not a big one anyway. Right, next, um, having checked that one out, I'm going to bring these from here. They're still replenishing, but by the time they get to their target, which is obviously going to be here, they should be replenished. So let's get them in that right direction first. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to sort of bump into anybody else, you know, in any kind of ambush. I'm going to move this one next because I want to check this one out afterwards. Actually, I was going to go that way, but he's only just launched an attack from that side, hasn't he? So I can't really see that being a problem. So I'm going to um, send him down this way to see what's coming down here. Nothing? Well, my concern was, you see, that if I came down this way, he'd go along that way. I know it can't be as quick going that way, but... It's, uh, it's always worth being a bit careful, isn't it, about things like that. Right, well, I'm going to take some of these out of here. I ended up with quite a large force in there, if you remember. So let's take, oh, I don't know, these, perhaps, out of here. Put them into there, because that needs defending. Leave a few behind. I can always go back and support it, of course. And I'm going to recruit a few in here as well. So I think I can get my 24-pounders now. I can. So I'm going to get a couple of those and maybe a line unit as well. Okay, might have to cancel one of those. Let's just see what happens, um, because there's one or two other things that I need to do. Um, hmm, what else did I want to do? Uh, yeah, somebody suggested, and it's a good idea, that Galicia... Let's have a look. See, I've come back to all this advice. I've had the weekend away. I did like a block upload, two videos, one, one after another, and they both worked. I was really pleased. And I've tried that in the past. I usually find the one at the back goes up first, and my videos end up in the wrong order, which is a bit of a nuisance. OK, I agree. It's a good idea to upgrade this. It's um, on the Russian border, or it's virtually on the Russian border. It's a risky place, um, and it's a wealthy place, so it does need to be looked after. So, yeah, I mean, it's 1,700. That's a big target for somebody to go for, isn't it? And I get a really good garrison as well if I've got improved settlement fortifications, even though I find it harder to defend something like that. But um, Okay, so I'm going for that advice, and the main reason is, if we just hover over that, and this is the reason why the advice was given, plus one happiness to middle classes and plus one to nobility. And if you see that, it's on yellow, which means it's on zero at the moment. I'm building this, of course, which means that the um, middle classes, they're the, the second one down in the chart, you know, um, they get a plus two for that as well. So they will improve because of that. So it's these here. These are the middle classes, and these are nobility, yeah, when you working in um, uh, the, the system that I've got here at the moment, with the king there. So this is the old pre-revolution um, sort of days, I think. If I, no, hang on a minute. I don't know when Poland lost its monarchy. I'm sure somebody will jump in and let us know that one. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, I don't know if it's when communism came in as well. I'm not too sure exactly when that was. I don't seem to remember you know, some kind of revolution happening over there, so well, I really don't know. OK, you can tell the voice has gone a bit, can't you? You know, singing... Uh, well, what was it? Um, oh, I don't know, South Australia was the one that we really sort of blasted out, you know, just after the band had gone to get everybody going, you know, so... Um, OK, um... At Magar, I want a road in here, so I want to be able to move fairly quickly. God, I feel like I've been to a football match with my voice. <coughs> Oh dear, I've got a bellowing voice, you know. <coughs> Excuse me, and although I'm not a singer, um, I'm not far off, I'm not far off the tune, I just don't have a good singing voice, but I, I, I get the right notes, and I can bellow, that's the thing, you know, so I'm really getting the place going, so um, I'm quite popular with these things, you know, to sort of get, get an atmosphere there, so. Anyway, here we go, Bidjapur recruit, what was I going to do in Bidjapur? I was going to see if I could recruit in there as well. Here we go. 
Yep, I'm going to get a few in there as well. If I can. Now this is what I was saying before. I'm not too sure if I. Oh, I can. Yeah, with 354 to spare. Great. The mass worked out. It was general mass, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, but anyway, I, I can't get my anything better than 12 pounders yet, and I am constructing in here. But you see, I'm only one turn away from this. In fact. Where's my? Oh yeah, and two away from getting better cannon here. That's really why I'm raising uh, better troops, or I will be in Ceylon for now until I get something better there. Okay, well that's about it for now. If you remember, up until now, we'd got this far in here um, on our way to take Mysore. The roads are pretty bad, or rather non-existent from this area. Well, they certainly seem to have been non-existent because I've come from this area here through to there first. So, uh, okay, well let's see. It probably recruit, I would imagine. Doesn't show me it's recruiting, but. Uh, what's he got in there? He's got 11 in there. I'm quite happy if he recruits though, because all it'll do, if he recruits one, is take out that one garrison unit. So that'll be good, won't it? Anyway, let's end the turn, find out what happens. Okay. Yeah, period wedding. 17th century wedding. Fantastic. I'll tell you what, the girls really, really pull the stops out. They look absolutely stunningly gorgeous. They really did, you know. Um, I, I don't want to um, get anybody too excited, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it's the period really when the, the grand people, you know, were under the influence of the, of the French in costumes. Um, I know we had Puritans around that were d dumbing everything down, but, uh, you know, the nobility was really sort of perking itself up, if you know what I mean. And uh, and they, 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 you can park a bicycle in most of them. <laughs> they look absolutely good. The dresses are superb as well. It's not really a modern look, you know, because there's a bum roll there that raises the hips and all that. But I think it's fantastic and shapely. I think it's absolutely marvellous. Anyway, um, give region Kashmir. They're going to give me Kashmir. Why? They want a seed drill, and they want they want two technologies off me for Kashmir. But I don't really want Kashmir because Kashmir is way up there. You see that flashing? It's too far away for me. If they give me that, I would go for it. Shall I try that? I don't think they're going to give me that, are they? Um. No, hang on. Region. I'll give you something else as well for it. If you'll give it me, I'll be very, very pleased. Um, right, so I have that. And I'll give you another technology, because I know this is more expensive, this one. So I'll give you separation of powers as well. Oh! Ah, oh, now I don't remember which one they wanted. Oh, blast. I'd f I was forgetting. You have to choose them all at the same time, don't you? Okay, I'll give you that one and that one. I think that's what you wanted anyway, wasn't it? And then I'll give you that one as well. I'll give you those three. I think they wanted three before, you know, so I'm not offering any more. Never mind, let's give it a try. Must reject. Oh, that's a shame. Maybe if I'd have gone for four, they might have gone for that. I'd like that, because it would consolidate that area without me having to go to war with the Mughals, you see. Oh, what's he doing now? Picking up troops, moving them around. Hmm. Not good. I think when a technology goes by next time, by the way, I think I'm going to have to go for that um, seasoning that I've been putting off for so long. I know I wanted to start recruiting ships before I did that, but I want good ships. Um, I'll show you in a minute why. Well, I'll show you generally what I've got in mind anyway. I know sometimes I like to keep you guessing. There's some pretty darn good guesses, actually. Somebody guessed almost the exact order, you know, um, Pirates um, and then Dutch Guyana, you know, but... Um, that uh, was a really good guess there, but uh, but there was more than one guess in there, and then they changed it to pirates, and they're absolutely right. Okay, technological advance um, and explosive rockets. Not sure how much I want explosive rockets. I'll have a look at those in a minute. Uh, recruitment report. Yeah, Bijapur and Ceylon. Oh, did I get one in Ceylon as well? I must have ordered that at the end of the last video and forgotten all about it, but um, anyhow, it doesn't matter. Natural causes. Who's died? Somebody. Natural causes. Um, construction report. Oh, by the way, if anybody has got any comments... Oh, I'm not going to look at that yet. I'm going to do something else. Um, if anybody has got any comments, um, then it'd be good, because I'm going to... I'm going out in about half an hour. I'll be uploading this, so by tomorrow morning, this should all be uploaded, and then it'll be for a few hours tomorrow, you know, so in about, say, seven hours' time, this video should be uploaded. In about ten hours' time, that's three hours after that, I'll be making my decisions on what to do. So if anybody can sort of sneak anything in quickly after the video's been uploaded, that would be really helpful, you know, any suggestions. Ah, look at that. He's got two in there. Now, I don't know if they've come from somewhere else or whether he's recruited those. But he did have one spe... Oh, right. Now, that's interesting. When I chased him away from there, did he have two that escaped? I think he probably did, you know. I think they probably went up there and they've come back now and they've stood in there. What he wants me to do is attack him there. 
so that this force can come out and help. And that's fine, because what will happen then is um, I'll, I'll defeat him, and then he'll have a massive garrison, a full garrison in there virtually, for me to fight again. Yeah, so he wants me to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to go and fight his garrison. Um, so, sorry, his forces in there and defeat them as his forces rather than as a garrison. So let's take these in here. Um, he won't come and attack me, by the way, there, because I'm doing a direct attack on here. If I was to move to there, this whole lot would come and attack me. And then again, like I said, there'd be a full garrison in there for me to fight again. They'd all be full garrison troops, in other words, full units. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go around here with these, because these are my uh, mortar troops. They're the ones that can shell over the top of the walls. So we'll go for that, and I'll continue the siege on that one. Uh, now what I want to do is take him out, because I've now isolated him. I'm not going to bore you with this battle, by the way, because uh, it's got to be the easiest battle in the absolute world, isn't it? These aren't going to come on because, well, for obvious reasons. Um, in fact, I might just swap troops around afterwards. But anyway, let me get on and do this battle, and then I'll um, show you the results, because, y yeah, I know you don't want to see that. Well, how I managed to lose 172 in that battle is just ridiculous. I just don't know, really. I mean, I stood off and shot one-to-one -one against his infantry, um, and, uh, you know, look, he's killed 27 of mine. His horse didn't even get near my men, by the way. This was just from a firefight. So his troops were good. Um, I, you know, I killed 15, lost 27. Killed 30, lost 42. So, really, gun for gun, he was better than me. And I don't understand it. We had rank firing. He didn't seem to have rank firing, from what I can see, you know. So it's caused me a fair amount of damage there for nothing, you know. So that's, uh, that's very disappointing. But anyhow, the other mistake I made was... They didn't have a general in there, did they? And the first troop to come on, the first group to come on, right, was my general from this other force. Uh, from, not from there, because they were a general down. From this force here. He came on and just walked um, lively into the middle of the, um, is that the right word? Blandly, maybe? I don't, blatantly, I think, is the best word, isn't it? Stupidly, certainly. Boldly. Uh, right into the middle of the battlefield. I didn't even realise he was there. I thought, hang on, they've got a third unit, these people. Where have they got those from? Do you know, I think he's going to come on now. He's close enough, isn't he, to reappear? Ah, oh, I didn't even think to chase him off, because I thought he was shattered. That would be the end of him. But he's now going to come on again. What are these guys, anyway? 110 and 35. They're not that good, are they? Something strange is happening in this. It really is. So he fires with much less accuracy than we do. And yet he's killing more of us than we are of him. I don't know why. I mean, what is he? He's one chevron? Strange. Anyway, here we go. I'm going in with, the, not those, these. These are the ones with the general with them. And, of course, they're going to have the howitzers. And we're going to pummel him from a distance. Um, he, he can't really, I mean, okay, he can use those. But uh, not to very good effect, I wouldn't have thought. And, of course, um, well, those, th these seem to be superhuman at the moment. He should be in defensive mode, shouldn't he? So we should be able to take him out. And, in fact, if it's so obvious and so easy, I, I think I'm just going to do an auto-resolve because... Um, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's looking easy, isn't it, that one? Two armies on him. No city defences. Um, calling to surrender. No, no chance, is there? His other unit isn't coming on, so I, I think that's fair. And I think that's pretty well in my favour, that, isn't it? I think I'm just going to go for that, you know. I, I think I would probably really make mincemeat of him, but I'm going to go for it. Yep, victory. Oh, I don't know. Yes, I think I'll accept that. Okay, so, of course, that's those troops gone now. And uh, we need to build up all these areas here. Before I start to think about replenishing the troops, because I might be amalgamating some, I think what I'll do is I'll have a look at the Ottoman attack and see what's going on there. Might be, oh, 31,000, I was going to say, it might be worth me thinking about what to do here as well, but um, no, I'll upgrade all of these. God, he's a backward country, isn't he? This Mysore. Um, hmm. God, he's not built anything up at all. It's all low. Right, church school in there, I think. What else has he got? Um, he's got a university in there. Do I need another university? I don't think I do, you know. But, do I need to get rid of it? It's a minus two. And these buildings will give me... This one will give me... Um, a oh, plus four, so I'm on a plus two straight away. This one, um, another plus four. So I'm on a plus six. No, no, I, d I don't think I need to bother. I think I'll keep the university actually there. I'll be getting rid of them all fairly soon anyway, but... Uh, let's see, what should we have in there? Shrapnel shot? I think I probably will, or maybe this is the time now to go for this, so I can start getting these. I know it's going to cost me, but I think maybe now's the time. Uh, what else is there? 11 turns. Actually, that's pretty good. 11 turns for that. 
for classical economics. That's not too bad at all. Um, nope, I'm going to bite the bullet and I'm going to take this one. Um, you can see what it gives me there and you can see why I've been put off and I've said it before. But look what it leads to, you know, and it gives me that sort of mobility in battles as well, you know. So top speed ships in battles, you know, it, it's worth it, really is. You know, you can sort of cut across to T, get across them quicker. Um, I think we're so rich now that I don't need to be worrying about um, seasoning. So I'm going to get that. I'm going to keep the university there and I'm going to get that. So, OK, before I replenish the troops, like I say, I might just amalgamate some of these troops instead of replenishing them um, because I need to sort out what uh, what I'm doing elsewhere. Nation destroyed, yes, we know about that. And sorry, uh, right, OK, and construction report. That's the one that we said we'd think about, didn't we? But, um, hmm, and I will certainly think about that. Let's go and have a look at what's happening with the Ottomans now over here. Over in the Americas, we're still sort of making everywhere happy, so um, I don't think I'm going to need to worry too much about them. Over here, though, what's he got? Right, that's all he's got there. Anything beyond? Not from what I can see. Now, that is interesting, isn't it? There's nothing in support, so that's all there is. I'm not going to enter this area because, again, what's going to happen is all of those will attack me and then leave a massive garrison behind for me to attack afterwards. So I'm just going to go straight for that. <coughs> These are full units here, very experienced. It's in my favour about as much as the previous one was as well, you know. There are no city defences, um, so... Right, I think I'm going to go for that one as well, see what that does. Victory! <laughs> oh, wow! 759 lost! Oh, I am very pleased with that, there is no doubt about it. Great! Well, can I afford to upgrade all of these? Not upgrade, repair them, sorry. I think I can. What is that one? Pasha's Palace. Uh, yeah, that gives me repression. Colonial Militia, I'm not too enamoured with that. Yes, we'll have the Conservatorium. And yes, we'll do that. And I bet you he hasn't got roads here. Look at, look how primitive these places are. Can you believe it? It's ridiculous, isn't it? Oh no, it's not another university. I don't think I'm going to need that. Right, well, I mean, what have we got here now? Right, eight, mi right, they're on minus one. Well, look, I mean, these are going to give me more than that, aren't they, straight away? I mean, that's going to give me plus three. So, um, minus one becomes plus two. Uh, I've got this one here that's going to give me, uh, that will give me plus three. And then this one here. Uh, I think that gives me another, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. So, okay, so I'll get plus three. Somebody pointed out it's improved settlement fortifications. It gets you things. But anyway, there'll be other things. I, did I get a church in there? I, I forget what I did. I don't know. Anyway, these all need to be build up, built up, don't they? So, let's go around building these up. What's this? Yeah, wineries. That should be good for income. This is pretty close to my area, so we'll build that one up as well. Uh, I'm not going to build the port up because I can't defend it yet. And he's bound to just go for it if I do that, isn't he? So, do you know, I think I can keep that university. I think I can. I'm not sure. Well, look, here we go. No, I'm not confident about doing these places. I think it's just going to invite an attack, isn't it? So, I think it's just going to be money wasted, isn't it? Spending on those areas. Right, but I will replenish this army. I'll definitely need to, there's no doubt about it. Um, okay, I'm not going to amalgamate on that one. I'm just going to replenish. 2,540. I've got 2,292 left. Right, now... It's just as well, isn't it, then, that these over here I didn't do anything with because I don't think I'm going to be able to replenish all of those, am I? Um, just those in there, it's going to be 3,060, well, 3,000 and what, 67? And I've only got 2,292, so I wouldn't be able to do it. So I'm going to have a while before I'm going to need to do anything else with these troops. So I'm going to amalgamate. Um, I think it's d definitely the best way to do it. So let's get some of these troops joined in. Joined up, right I know I'm going to lose some units here, but uh, I think I don't think it's going to cause me too much of a problem. That. Okay. Oh yes, he kept his chevron. Excellent. Okay. Right. This is a unit I'm going to lose. Then is it? Yep. Lose him, and he can go in there. So that will lose me another one, will it? Yes, it does. Um, the grenadiers. I don't think I'm going to lose one here, am I? Oh yes, I will. Yeah, okay, so I'll lose a Grenadier unit as well. I know it doesn't sound very good, this, but, you know... I, oh, I've got more Grenadier units over here. Okay. Um, the other's all up to fairly full strength, I think. Um, yeah. Let's put those two together as well. Won't do any harm. Definitely want to keep the Dragoons, no doubt about that. Um, right, let's bring some in here. What have we got here? Let's um, amalgamate all these as well. 
It means I've got less to repair, you see, afterwards. So, you know, less to replenish afterwards. So, what else have I got? Now, these I like to repair. I don't want to lose any of these. These are good lads. Now then. Those in there. 105 in there. Right, those in there. Okay, and then those in there. Leaves me with only, what, 30. Uh, can they go in anywhere else? I don't think they can. So if I now put that unit into here, I think... Has he gone in? Where is he? Come on, where are you? Oh, oh it's because I'm not in here, isn't it? Oh, I thought it would automatically move me to there, but it didn't do. Where are you? 30. Right, brilliant. He can go in there. And that's it. Okay. So, hmm. Now, we'll look in here. Do I risk getting rid of some of these? I don't want to lose any of those. I just want to replenish each one of those units. Um, right, horse. Do I lose a horse unit? I might have to. What sort of horse have we got in here? We've got, we've got these kind of horse. I don't think we've got any of these in here, have we? No, we haven't, so, hmm. Okay, shall we see if we can replenish them now? See what happens. How many is that? 1,428. I can afford that, but there's only 600 left. Let's see what it would cost to do these. Uh, no, 1,130. So, I need to take a bit more remedial action. Are there any grenadiers in here? Oh, can't see any grenadiers. No, nope, I think I might have to amalgamate. Um, it's a shame to lose one of these units, isn't it? Which is the weakest one? Probably that one. Oh, am I going to lose all those chevrons on that one? Nope, didn't do. Oh, that's good then. Okay, so I'm going to lose a very good unit here. Um, put him in here. And they kept the chevron as well. Oh, and he's still only gone up to 2212. Let's see what we get now then. Uh, right. 840. That's looking a lot better. Let's go for that then. And then these over here. Uh, 1,130, and we can do it. Great! Now, I think what I'll do is I'll just move a couple more into here, because this place is looking a bit uh, a bit unhappy, isn't it, as well? So, I've got any dragoons out there? Haven't, have I? Nope. Okay. Well, let's get those in there, then. Just those three. Right, now, these can move. Tempted to go for my saw, you know. So tempted. But for now, what I'm going to do is just move them forward. We'll have them, say, ooh, I don't know, in a place where they can easily reach. Let's put them... Oh, do you know, I could go both ways, couldn't I, from there? I'm going to go to this one. Because from there, I can move to there. Or, I can move up to there, can't I? So, that's not a bad forward position to have, actually. Okay, oh, that was an extremely successful round. Um, only 322 left, though. I can't spend anything on anything else. But, let's just have a quick look at the uh, regions and see how we stand there. Um, which one was that? Ah, uh, right, okay. This is the one we've just taken that we know is going to improve, so we're alright there. Galicia is the one that we've taken remedial action for anyway. Goa, we're okay there as well. This one is the one that we've just taken Mysore, we know that one's going to be okay. So that should be alright then. Let's have a look at the technologies then, see what we can do there. We should have now somebody who isn't researching anything. There he is. Two that aren't researching anything. Well, hey. Now, so we can go for... Oh, I don't know if we go for preserved food yet. Perhaps not. Carronades are nice because they lead to rifled cannons, and it's very nice to have those. So I might go for that, and I might go for the shrapnel shot as well. That turns your cannons into a kind of howitzer, actually. So looking down here, hmm, it's not a bad one. And over here, we've got the classical economics. Now, that's 16 this time, isn't it, with that one? And 16 with that one as well. So mm, maybe I should have chosen to go for another one with that before. Uh, right, use another one for that before, I, I should say. Right, so what have we got on there? 15 and 15. Hmm. 8 and 13. Uh, what do I do? That's a long time to get those, isn't it? Um. I think maybe... Yeah, let's go for the carronades then. And I'll go for the preserved foods. Okay, woof. I don't suppose it really matters how long it takes me, does it? I can always stop halfway through and get somebody else to research some. OK, let's have a look at the prestige, just to show off a bit. Prestige, massively in our favour. I don't think there's anybody that comes close, but I will show you something, though. 
Um, if I just flick through these and you have a look when I do it, these are the major nations. Just have a look who hasn't got allies. There's Denmark, there's France, there's Great Britain. Ooh, no allies. Mughal Empire, Ottoman Empire, Poland, that's us of course, Russia, plenty of allies, Spain, and Sweden. Sweden, no allies. Now somebody suggested I go for Sweden, but I'm just so happy that they're keeping um, uh, Russia occupied. Go for the minor nations. People know why I'm doing this, of course, um, because I don't want to attack somebody where I'm going to upset loads of other people that are their allies, that's the thing. These are Indians. Italian states, there we go, allies, quite a few. Knights of St John, no allies. Now they've got something like a little island, is it Malta, around here somewhere, so that I might go for. Uh, Persians, sorry, yeah, Persians, that's right, Plains Indians and Savoy. Now the Indians, of course, don't have many allies, and somebody said, oh, please leave the Indians alone. I can understand why, yeah, I really can. But anyway, um, I think that's probably enough for now. I haven't got any more money than I can spend anyway. Um, but it's looking like the regions are okay. Um, some people ask about ministers as well. These are the ministers. Um, I'll just flick through these so you've got an idea of how we're doing as well on things such as trade. And of course we're going to be getting more income because of Mysore as well. So I think it's now going to be a case of seeing what, um, uh, what the Ottomans come up with. On the other hand though, I could bring some supports down. Did I ask for any recruits in here? I don't think I did, did I? Yes I did. Just a couple of 24 pounders. I could have perhaps done something, done with something a bit better than that, you know, actually, because I haven't got much in there, just in case anybody does decide to come around and attack, but they've got a long way to go, and I can see a lot of the sea around here, of course, because of the trade around this area, so I think I'm going to be fairly safe around there. Um, hmm. Might just have time to end a turn, though. Uh, four minutes, three and a half minutes, can I do it in that time? I hope so. Let's go for it. End turn in three and a half minutes. Here we go. Well, that's two more areas taken, um, and just in one video, so it's not bad going, is it, really? Uh, I'm hoping to get a bit of a foothold, and of course somebody suggested a long time ago I go for Britain. That's what gave me the idea, actually, about going for the United Provinces so I can get into India. I just forgot, really, that Dutch Guyana had become available, but, um, uh, but wiping Britain out would be really good. Wiping France out would be easy, they've only got two territories in Europe. If I was to go through there and take those, they've got lots of allies that would put me at war with them. Um, but the, the advantage of it is that there are all those French regions, but the main one, the one that I can recruit most of the best troops from, they're just... Oh, what did he do then? That was interesting. Hmm. The one where I can get most troops from, that's um, Quebec. Um, and that's pretty off the beaten track, really. If I went for Spain, they've got a lot of regions in Europe as well, and um, uh, but they've only got New Mexico that have got a big recruiting ground. You know, one where I can get barracks and things like that, but... Um, if I do Britain, they've got loads of areas. What, the New York area, the Washington, all, all those kind of areas there that I can't name now off the top of the head, trip off the top of the head, but, but they're all there. Oh, Italian states. Oh, oh, crikey, do you know? I thought they were coming for me then. Where on earth are they going? It's right on the border of my territory. I'd be interested to see where they're going. And I wonder if I've got any ships, actually, decent enough ships to be able to sort out those Ottomans that have just blockaded my port. He could be cutting off a great deal of trade now, you know, with a few ships there. And I don't think I've got anything down there. Now, that's remiss of me. I should have really had some ships, and I'd have been better off, rather than upgrading those buildings in those other areas, I'd have been better off getting some ships in the south, wouldn't I? But I'm sort of hanging on for my ports, really. Hey, I tell you what I didn't do, either. I didn't go through that construction report to find out what could be upgraded further. Port blockaded. Which one's he done? This one here. And I've got no ships there. What's he got? An India man and a fifth rate. Darn it. That's going to take me ages, you know, to get ships big enough to be able to take on a fifth rate. I bet you he's killing a heck of a lot of trade there as well. Uh, yeah, look at that. Trade is going to be massively down. Income still 36,000 though. We're doing well. But he's cut Savoy in the Italian states, hasn't he? And he's cut Persian trade as well. Cut all of that trade. I'm going to be losing a lot through there. I don't know exactly how much I'm losing, but it is going to be a lot. Um, I could kick him out of the port. I mean, at least he hasn't damaged the port, I suppose. Let's just see what navies I have got, by the way. Um, regions, fleets. Right, what have I got? Um, one ship here which is no good. This one, which is also no good. And this one, which is over in the Americas. So I've got absolutely nothing to answer that with at all. Nothing. Totally exposed. Workers on strike, Anatolia. Now, I think that place should improve, shouldn't it? 
and it has done so I'm not, not unhappy about that uh, this one my saw I think that should improve as well we said it would yes it has even gone green that one very pleased about that this one here recruitment report okay I've got my 24 pounders nice to have construction report ah lots of buildings there that I could do with doing something about the trouble is, if I save now, what I'm going to do is leave those on the screen and I'm going to look at those on the video afterwards and take a note of which one of those can be upgraded afterwards because I've run out of time now. I'm up to 30. So I'll just, you know, have a look through those at the end of the video and then find out which ones I can upgrade. So, OK, click that. Port blockaded. Yeah, that's the one we know about. Thank you very much. Right, technological advances. Oh, we have quick lime shells. Excellent. We have platoon firing. Even better. And we're on to shrapnel shot. I thought we'd gone on to that anyway. I don't quite understand what happened there. Okay, new town emerges. Where are we? Oh, we're up here. Now, this should be Catholic by now, this area, shouldn't it? Yes, it is. So I'm going to get rakes in this area. Where are we? That one there. Okay. Right. Excellent. Um, income 40,000. Nothing like as good as it could be. Well... OK, you've been on at me for long enough about getting a decent navy. You were quite right. I wish I had done. Even if I'd have got some fourth rates and fifth rates. Didn't do it because I was greedy and I wanted the better ships. OK, take that one on the chin, folks. But um, let's just have a quick look around and see where I can get some decent ships now. Nope, still can't get any decent ones from there. I can get fourth rates. I mean, that'll beat you his. I could probably get a couple of fourth rates, can I? Yep, so in two turns, I'll have him out of there and I'll have my trade back. But is there anywhere where I can get any better ships? What's this? Fifth rate? Nope. Can't get anything better there. Here. Fifth rate. Here. Fourth rate. Um, nothing better than that. Oh, crikey, we're in America now. Anyway. I didn't even notice. I'm just clicking through the ports. Didn't even realise. Where are we here? You see, fourth rate. It's the best I can get. Now, maybe last turn, I should have been upgrading my ports. So I could have been getting better ships than that. Because I don't think I've got anything better than a... Oh, oh it's commercial basin anyway. Um, come on. Where's the war ones? Global Trading Company? No. This one. Right. It's because I can't have this. Because I haven't got the steam engine yet. But I can get all of those shit... Ah! That's the place. That's the one we're going to recruit. Okay, second rates. We're going to blow him out of the water with a couple of second rates. And that's the end of him. Can we get anything good here as well? There's quite a few ships in there. But no. Nothing decent enough. Oh, yes! Look. That's in Northern Europe. I didn't realise they'd even been built, or I'd forgotten all about them. I really had just taken my eye off the ball on those. Must take that one on the chin. OK, right, well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some ships. I'll just leave a note for myself. Get ships. So in two turns, we'll have him out of there. I don't know if it's worth just getting a couple of, say, fourth rates down here. Oh, no, this is the place, and he's only there, isn't it? Do I get, in one turn, a couple of ships that are going to get rid of him? See, I can't really get really good ships in one turn. What's he got? He's got an India man, which is nothing, really. It might take that one out, perhaps even with a brig. I don't know. But that one's a fifth rate. I'd need, say, a couple of fifth rates to take that one out, wouldn't I? Or maybe a fourth rate. See, again, we're looking at one turn. We're looking at brigs, aren't we? Nothing but Briggs or, you know, fifth rate, like I said, two turns. And even from here, I don't think I can get a fifth rate in one turn. No, I can't. Oh dear. So it's going to be two turns before I can do anything about those ships. That's not good news. Anyway, what is good news is we now have Mysore. Um, and tell you what, I might even try negotiating again, actually. with. Oh, I shouldn't do this, should I? I should move on or rather record the video. Open negotiations. And I want... Uh, a region. I want that bottom region from you, please. This area here, that's what I want. And I'll give you technology for it. I'll give you these two. And I'll give you that one. Will you take that? So there's India. No, so no, they're not going to have it. Damn. Okay, can I give you four for it? I'd like that area. Region. Right, I'm going to try four. And if you don't do it this time, then you're risking war, I'm afraid, folks. Because I'm being more than generous. Right, well, I'm going to give you four this time. Last chance. Okay, right, you've had your chance. So, 
I think you've provoked me there, I'm afraid, by not doing what I want you to do. <laughs> That's all you have to do with me, folks. <laughs> you just have to not do what I want. Um, right, OK. Uh, I need to recruit in here as well. Can't get really good quality in here, can I? So I'm going to need to build this area up as well. Um, that's a bit of a shame. I also can't really move the troops out of there yet, so I need to get my spies moving around here so I can see what he's got, where they are, and what he's doing with them. It looks like he, with that big fleet there, I see. That's not bad, is it? Fifth rate. Oh, this is what I need to be competing against now. I need to be getting um, a good fleet of second rates out there, I really do, so I can sort these out. I have no idea where he's going, but it does look like he's landing in this area here, doesn't it? And if he does that, that means he's declaring war on the Ottomans. Let's see if he's already at war with the Ottomans. I suspect he's actually an ally of them. Look at the Ottomans. No, he's not. He's at war with the Italian states. Oh, yes! Wow, the Ottomans are going to get hit big style by the Italian states. Um, and that looks like it's going to take out um, um, Armenia. So, oh, wow. I mean, that has got to be really good. I tell you what, I'm almost tempted to ally with the Italian states, but I don't want to take the risk. But uh, that's brilliant. That might even be the reason why he's drawn his troops back from here. That means I might just be safe to build up my my um, economy around here and get some, um, uh, you know, sort of build this up to get some decent troops as well. Um, I could do really with supporting that port as well, perhaps getting some ships out there as well. But anyhow, that's all for the next video, folks.